like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Well, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please. It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay, how about you shut the fuck up? Well, that was certainly uncalled for. Good day to you, officer. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But... Judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I tell he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see your husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just... Messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, yeah. He'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. 
Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. Anyone here? Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Jesus. A second victim. Badly injured, but still breathing. on lockdown, there's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. <laughs> Amir, is that you? during the day.
You'll rot in here. Fucking slop again. It's called soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Yes. Fine. 
Finally! and tattoos, you were like a big, wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. sickness and in health forsaking all others to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part any regrets
emergency extraction procedures successful.